So Clash of Clans released its summer update the other day, and there were some things that they did not include in the patch notes, or some things that came off a little unusual. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show. And today we have 10 things you might have missed in the Clash of Clans summer update, starting with the new magic items in the pet potion and the builder star jar. Now with the pet potion, I get it. It only really applies to Town Hall 14s and Town Hall 15s. So a lot of you lower level players are just like, whatever, you know? But here's the fact of the matter. This was a really good potion addition because pet upgrades at those levels were an absolute nightmare. So the pet potion boosts the pet upgrade 24 times for one hour. So of course it's gonna come in really handy like the research potion. But did you notice that they did not add it to the weekly deals? I'm kind of wondering if they're gonna do that in the future or not. What you probably didn't know is that this is the ninth boost potion that has been added to Clash of Clans since the magic items were released in 2017. What boost potion would you like to see added in the future? The Builder Star Jar is a magic item that activates an inactive star bonus on the Builder base. Now what's special about this one is it's the first jar that we've seen added to the magic items. Really insignificant information. But know that it's actually the third magic item that's dedicated towards the Builder base. Even though you can use books and hammers on the Builder base, there's only three magic items that are specific to the Builder base in the Builder Star Jar the Rune of Builder Gold, and the Rune of Builder Elixir. For those of you that are not playing the highest level in the game, which is currently Town Hall 15, in this update, the Eagle Artillery, Scatter Shots, Builder Huts, Hidden Teslas, and remaining wall segments all gain new levels, plus their Town Hall specific appearance. What you might not be aware of is that this is actually the first time that Clash of Clans released all of its building levels on a newly established town hall in only two updates. Now I found this to be very strange because in previous years, Example, Town Hall 14 was released in April of 2021, and then all of its building levels was spread out across the three updates throughout the year. So they actually finished this level off a lot earlier, which kind of raises the question, are they going to bring out Town Hall 16 faster than they'd done in previous years? Since Town Hall 15's defensive buildings received what appears to be their final building levels, Clash also decided to release five more levels across all four home village heroes. Now, most players that are currently playing Town Hall 15 will probably tell you that they did not want new hero levels because they more than likely just maxed or they weren't even close to it. But unfortunately, now the maximum levels of the home village heroes are level 90 for the Barbarian King and Archer Queen, level 65 for the Grand Warden, and level 40 for the Royal Champion to include the massive prices to level up these important offensive units. But I'm sure in a few years we'll see a decrease on those prices in the upcoming years. So hero skins were originally released in April of 2019 with the Gladiator King being the first one. Now back then the user interface was just a small pop-up menu where you could click over to your newly acquired King skin and stuck around for a few months before Clash upgraded that menu to the one most of you have used for the last three years where the hero skins preview was on the left and the hero skin options were on the right. In this update the hero skin user interface received an epic redesign where now that menu is now a full screen where you get to see your favorite hero skin animations in a much larger size. The hero skin scroll options are located on the bottom of the screen and they even added the option where you could buy skins if you didn't have them from the cosmetic shop directly from this menu. Since we're on the topic of hero skins, Clash released four epic hero skins in the league shop. You got to see my reaction from the other day. And look at these skins, dudes. This is crazy. Wait a minute. Wait, I want to see it. Look, 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 look. League King. The Titan King skin. Look at that. <laughs> that dude is OP, man. And it also shows you the features that are associated, and you can purchase it directly in this menu. When we go back out, I don't like that part. When we don't when we go back out, it doesn't take me back to the league shop. It actually pulls you all the way out. I hope they fix that. <laughs> but here is your Archer Queen skin, which is a champion league skin. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy, dudes. Then we have the League Warden. Look, look at this. He's, he's almost like a magical warden on steroids. I mean, this dude is super OP, man. I really want this skin. Also included in that menu is the brand new War Arena scenery. Now, this is actually a really cool scenery, but one of the biggest complaints that I've seen over the last couple of days is the prices are way too high. 2,400 league medals for the scenery and what, 2,000 league medals for the skins? 
What you're missing here is that this is actually the very first time that Clash has ever offered a skin for just playing the game. You know, like think about it. Gold Pass and the Legendary skins normally cost real money. So I can't just go ahead and spend a bunch of money on League Medals because you can't do it to get these skins. This is actually a little bit of an advantage for some of you guys because to be honest with you, even though the prices are very high, I agree, I can't get these skins as fast as I want, it does motivate me to play Clan War Leagues again. By now, most of you have more than likely either unlocked or requested the new Apprentice Warden to use in an attack. It's expensive. Expected. Everyone wants to try the new stuff, huh? But in case you missed the sneak peeks, here's what it does. Despite his name, it's just a student of the Grand Warden. This guy supports troops with its magical life aura and a less magical slingshot. But looking at the available stats, just like the Grand Warden, this troop has a relatively low damage per second, but it does come with an aura HP increase percentage for the troops it's supporting on the battlefield. Let's not miss out on that housing space of 20. What you probably overlooked is that this is the the 26th troop edition in Clash of Clans and the second support type troop that prioritizes supporting other troops over attacking buildings unless it's the only troop on the map. The first support troop was obviously the healer by the way. Now after the release of the Builder Base 2.0 update, many players knocked out the Builder Base challenge levels and unlocked the redesigned armored battle machine skin. This new version would attack buildings by rotating a full 360 degrees at the legs. And what's really funny about that previous version is that a lot of players thought it looked broken. So in this update, the skin now leans into its target and swings its right arm a full 360 degrees, slamming the hammer down onto its target, which I think looks way better. The Super Hog Rider was the 16th Super Troop addition to the sauna, also becoming the first troop in Clash of Clans that regenerates two separate full health melee troops upon destruction. And in case you took a break and you're just now coming back to Clash of Clans, they also added added a cancel button for the super troops. This is actually huge because a lot of hardcore players out there were really frustrated because they were farming with sneaky goblins and then when war or clan war leagues came around they couldn't change to other supers. And the last thing that really threw me off because it wasn't in the patch notes, we didn't see it in sneak peeks, they just secretly added it, was the fact that there's a new tab in the season pass. Now I know if you're like super hardcore you've already seen this but before this update it used to say challenges, rewards, and perks, and the season bank was in the perks. Now the bank has a tab itself and it's labeled as banks. So I'm assuming that there's going to be another bank coming. We did see on Twitter the other day where people were like kind of speculating a diamond pass. What do you guys think? <laughs>